beat your record of people. <laughs> How many did you get? We got four. I, I think, think we got three or four. I think we have five on here now. Hang on, let me just see this. The hell too easy. What the hell? Someone move this black hole. Can someone move the black hole? It's gone. Oh well, there you go, it's gone. Thank you. Boom. So how many people have we got there? Need to move. I don't have the it. Amazing. So, this is the Total Logic Emporium, and I'm here to do a logical live stream. We're going to do some demos on stuff you can do with Logic, and I'm joined today by KY Computer, Omega Cybrin, Phantom, and QAI. So, with that being the function and the goal, you guys know what we're doing. Um, you will notice that there's been a hell of a lot of people just sort of shooting up the place. <laughs> They're all uh, having lots of fun in the pilot mode. With their, ast with their new astronaut lasers. They are, of course, available in a multitude of colors now. But pretty much what we're going to be dealing with is logic. There's going to be people doing stuff in the background, which is cool. So, yeah, welcome, KY, Omega, Phantom, and QAI. Hello. Uh, hopefully, Hello. We, yeah, hopefully, we shouldn't have too many problems with uh, stuff. We've also got pretty large planet loaded in over here to check out in a bit. And there's another pretty large planet way down here. Everywhere. They're all over the place, so... Yeah, basically, let's get into this. Okay, so what I've done is I've made a bunch of cover here. You could use this for some kind of mini-game. Basically, um, all that someone has to do is walk up in front or behind that cover and it will should open and close. I don't know if anyone's around here that's available to check it. Is there anyone near the blue area? Yes, I'm in it. So just, there you go. Oh, what happened? There you go, they disappeared. Oh. So the oh, cover okay. will come up and down, you know, you like walk near it and it'll go up. Oh God, what happened? I don't <laughs> know what's going on. <laughs> it it works like really it's well. Activating whenever I hit it. Yeah, it seems like maybe the cooldown time has been changed. It used to be one and a half seconds. That's okay, it just needs... So, okay, I'm gonna recap real quick. Basically, this is uh, the co the current door set up you have a plex door and there's a permission block somewhere and then you put a light somewhere to indicate where it is and you say hey Omega if you want to get through this door hit the plex door by the red light and boom it opens the door and they can get through that's like basically how you would do it at the moment now I'm going to build another one next to it using a basic logic system hello again we have basically completely done another door it's exactly the same in every way only difference is instead of a red light we've actually put a switch in obviously you could put it lower higher in the wall wherever you want we've just put it there for demonstration so with the permission block attached to the activation and then if I push C on the activation you can see I've pushed V on all of the duplex doors okay and so now anybody can use that door so there you go that is the most basic way to do logic with your door but it doesn't end there so we're going to move on to the next one now okay so here we are now we've got the next uh the next door style as it were this one shows that you can completely hide it so you know you don't have to have these exactly here they could be just outside it's the same exact thing what I've done is I've hooked up the doors to the activation block and then this area controller block has to be touching much like a faction permission block and you just put that wherever you want as long as it's touching. There are other ways to do it but we're just covering the contained system version at this point. So we're going to come around here and I've put area controller blocks in front of the door. The idea is that you would mirror this so have a two thick door to allow for the cooldown time on the area and then put another area on the back and we might just do that in a second but basically here it is so um, hey guys do you want to try walking through this door now one sure. person oh no it's not doing it oh no there it went there was just a bit of a delay for some reason I think it's because there's a lot of people shooting around here causing a bit of lag there we go so you're through see the problem is the next guy will oh. we'll, we'll, we'll close it <laughs> yeah and I'll show you uh, how to fix that so okay so from here what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna make this um, I found that if you have the door too thick 
that's pretty much what you want. I think three might even be better. Um, but let's just use two and see how it goes. Give that one a try out. It probably will close the first time you go up to it. So then just back off and go into it again. I don't think he can go. Oh, well, someone help him. <laughs> right, you've got to go one at a time, guys. Otherwise, you'll get trapped. Okay. One at a time. <laughs> Someone's stuck in it. Yeah, you'll yeah. you'll need to get him out to unconfuse the sensors. There we go. Okay. Right, okay, so someone needs to close it, so just make it close first. Right, now walk I'll through. through. One, at, one at a time. Yeah. And another one. Nice. Oh, you you, you kind of stopped and <laughs> Yeah, that's it. Uh, you got it. Go again. <laughs> Next guy. If you go two at once, it will mess up. Oh no, what's happened to it? Oh. Oh! <laughs> so obviously what we probably what we probably need is um, some kind of delay so that it doesn't just immediately open and close. You know what I mean? Yeah, one delay block. Something like that. So let's let's just give that one a go, shall we? Uh, we've built the fourth door now and um, this one is virtually the same as the one next to it. The only difference being that we've split out the rolls here of the trigger circuit and the circuit that actually opens the door. So if I hit C here, you can see that the doors are attached to this activation block. If I hit C on this trigger, you can see that those are for the activations on each side. Now, if you push C on this activation block, which is touching, and then attach it to the delay, and then attach that to the delay, now, I'm a little concerned that this might need to not be touching, but I think it should be okay to touch that. Um, we'll find out. And then obviously you've gone, so C here, V, C here, V, C on the next connection, and then V, and then that'll give a one second delay between the trigger and the door opening or closing. Um, who's in front of the door right now? Anybody? I am. I am. Okay. So someone want to just walk up to it and make it close first? Oh, there's a one second delay. Okay. All right. Do you want to try that again? Uh-huh. Huh. Okay. Well, that, that actually works quite well. Can multiple people get through it because there's a second? Quick, go, go, go. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, it kind of worked until someone got stuck in it. <laughs> Look, he's trying to fire. <laughs> it looks like a multicolored lightsaber. Okay. Help him out, guys. Go, 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 go. Oh, no. someone got stuck. Oh, got it. <laughs> so it does, it works. I think what it also needs is a reset. So some way to manually open and close the door. So let's just put that in. We'll put an activation block here. And we'll put another one on the other side as well. And this is just going to circumvent the the automatic circuit. So if you're inside and it's open and you want to close it, you can just hit that. So obviously we want to put these with permission blocks. And then you'd hide hide it all in hull or something. So we're going to see here, and then this will just completely skip all of the circuitry. So we'll put that one to there, and then we'll put this one to there. And then we've got an override for it. Obviously, we're not going to want people messing around with the wiring, so I don't want to don't want to hide it. But we're going to, you know, clean it up a bit, I guess. So let's put that like that. Just make a little electronic cage. Uh-oh! No, oh. no pointer! <laughs> no pointer! 